Welcome people to another episode of Egypt. In this particular episode, um, I'll be talking about my trip to Cairo. Um, Cairo was really, really interesting, really developed, really busy, a lot of interesting people, a lot of security though. Um, and what happened is when I was recording around Cairo, um, a lot of security operatives usually like stop me and ask me questions or they kind of stare at you whilst you're recording. So it was quite interesting. But I suppose they're only doing it for security reasons. Anyways, um, my trip in Egypt was a very interesting one in general. Um, but I did enjoy Cairo a lot um, because I tend to like busy cities. There's something about busy cities anyway um, that I really like. Um, okay, let's see what I was up to in the city of Cairo. I'm just in the middle of the road, trying to cross the road. Um, I find Egypt or Cairo in particular quite similar to India in terms of traffic and in terms of following traffic regulations. As you can see the road is really busy and I'm struggling to cross the road. But just before I start showing you around, assalamu alaikum to all my Muslim brothers and assalamu alaikum to all my subscribers. Let's go. So this is um, the river Nile area in um, Cairo. So Cairo has um, a population of about 10 million people and um, Greater Cairo has a population of about 21 million. So I arrived in Cairo a few days ago and um, I, I've really enjoyed it so far. Um, there's a lot to do actually in Cairo. Um, the people are very very friendly um, everyone is quite helpful and there's actually a lot to do compared to Haggadah so I'm sure a lot of you have seen my video on Haggadah um, Haggadah is really nice um, it's much more of a touristy resort area where people can just sit down you know have a relaxing time have drinks and that yeah however um, Oh, oh you can't go there. Okay, how how do I get down river now? How do I how do I get down? Staircase. Stairs. No stairs. No camera. What in river now? It's public. Public. River now. No walking, walking. River now. Stair staircase? No, staircase. How do I go down? It's closed. It's closed. closed. Oh, it's closed. Okay. Anyways, um, a lot of people around the area cannot speak English. Um, so I've got to find a way around. Um, I mean, I've got to find a way of getting down there to River Nile. Um, what you would notice when you come to Egypt is there are some people that don't like you recording. Um, because of security issues. So, if you go to a hotel, for example, you would notice that there's a lot of security around. <clears throat> and the reason why they have security is, <clears throat> there was um, a terrorist attack a few years ago. And um, if you go to a hotel, if you go to a shopping mall, you see a lot of security hanging around. And they check your, um, your belongings, basically, just to ensure you don't have anything dangerous in it. Um, but so far, recording has been okay otherwise. Um, but yeah, I need to take you guys to River Nile. So, um, as I was saying, um, it's really, really um, important that you come to Cairo um, because there's just a lot more to do. I think River Nile is closed for some reason. Yeah, I think it's actually closed. So I might not be able to show you River Nile. Um, I might just have to show you the surrounding area, which is okay. Um, because it looks like it's closed for some reason, I don't know why. Um, you can see it's all shut down. 
um, there, might, there might be a security issue or they might have an event or something. Um, who knows what the issue is. Um, okay, so I was going to check out the nightlife in Cairo. However, I've not had time at all to check out the nightlife. So I need to find time to check it out. Um, if I can't actually do it in this trip, um, obviously next time I come to Egypt, um, I'll obviously check out the nightlife. So that's my hotel. Um, it's called Fairmont Hotel. Um, it's a five-star hotel. So, I, so I've been here for some days now. Um, the um, the customer service is really good um, in that hotel. People are really nice actually. Um, and you get everything you want literally. So I do advise, um, I advise you to stay in a good hotel when you come over. Okay, let's talk about culture. So in Egypt, um, the actual or the main religion is um, Islam. However, you might see a few people that are Christians, but it's mostly um, Muslims in Egypt. Um, also, Egypt is similar to Morocco in terms of um, how they accept people. So in Morocco, for example, um, you're allowed to wear what you want as long as it's not like really crazy. So that's very similar to Egypt as well. Um, people can wear what they want. No one is like bothered about that. However, you need to be careful if you're a lady because what you don't want to do is to dress in such a way that um, that you'd attract too much attention. So just watch out for that. Okay, so let's cross the road and see what's happening on the other side. Yeah, so um, a number of things um, I want to talk about. So, um, I've noticed that in some of my videos, um, some people are saying Hagada is not Egypt. Um, Hagada is Egypt. That's very clear. Um, when I landed in Hagada, I was issued an Egyptian visa on arrival. Also, um, Hagada is within Egypt and it is... Um, under Egyptian control and it is part of Egypt <laughs> and people who live in Haggadah who are locals are Egyptians so um, people are obviously saying things that they don't know or understand and it's quite funny that some of the people that are saying this are from Egypt how could you say a place in your country is not your country it's not part of your country um, that's like me saying that um, certain parts of England is not England or certain parts of America is not America. That, that doesn't make sense. Because the place is a touristy destination or because a lot of tourists go there and it's full of tourists does not necessarily mean it's not part of that country. Um, so that's quite um, wrong, I would say. Um, also, um, people saying don't compare Egypt to Morocco. Um, to me, that don't make sense. Um, I think that's one of the big issues we have in Africa in general. Um, people tend to feel like they are better than the other person. Um, I would say um, Egypt, Morocco... And most of the other North African countries are somewhat similar. Um, I don't understand what the issue is. Um, if you go across Europe, for example, especially Western Europe, um, a lot of the countries are somewhat similar. That's not to say they are the same, um, because obviously the culture and the languages are different. But to say they are not similar somehow, to me, don't make any sense. Um, also, I, I've noticed that people are just taking the comment section as a joke and they are just stating whatever. Um, I think it's very important for you to note that um, 
a lot of people view the comments um, and that makes them decide whether or not they want to go to that country. So making silly comments or trying to instigate problems or issues to me is not a way of promoting your country. Also, a lot of these people have fake profiles anyway because I did check one of the profiles of somebody that was commenting and the person's profile did not make any sense to me. Um, so it's just, you know, a word of advice anyway. Um, if you want people to go to your country because you feel your country is better, maybe state your case in a better way. Um, but I would say Egypt is similar to Morocco. Egypt is not a shithole. Egypt is a great country. Um, Egypt has one of the best places to visit. Morocco is a lovely country. Morocco has a lot of lovely places to visit. So they are somewhat similar and they are both great countries. Um, shout out to all my Moroccan and Egyptian subscribers. Um, your countries are great. Um, and I'm hoping to visit your countries again. I thought um, I should use this opportunity to make that clear. YouTubers, um, they don't like coming to Egypt um, just because they get harassed a lot. Um, also, there are some people that um, have had issues at the airport. Um, so they've had their drones seized um, and they've had certain cameras seized as well. Um, there was one particular YouTuber that had to use his phone to record in Egypt because they seized his drones and they seized his, um, his um, cameras as well. Okay, so because we can't go to River now for obviously um, many reasons, so we can't go to River now at the moment because it's locked. Um, I think they might be doing something there. And also because there's a lot of security agents. Um, it's so funny how it's very secure now because I went there yesterday and it wasn't that bad actually. There was only one or two security people there but today is quite busy, um, so I don't know why. Also, I find Cairo very difficult to record in um, compared to um, Haggadah. Haggadah is actually better because it's a... It's a <laughs> I, I'm trying to look for the right word. Um, it, it's a much more... Um, it's a smaller city, I would say. Let, let's put it that way. It's a smaller city. So you wouldn't obviously get a lot of attention there and um, the um, security situation there is not as bad. Let, let's just put it that way. I think that's the best way to put it. Um, okay, so <coughs> for those that didn't get what that security man was saying um, next to River now, he was saying, what are you doing? Like, what's this? Like, what are you doing? Um, and, and the local came and said, a local came and said, oh, he's a YouTuber, YouTube, YouTube, and he left me alone. So sometimes having a bit of local intervention is really good because that helps. Um, but I'm beginning to think Cairo might not be that safe though, because why do they have so many security people asking questions? It might just be, it might just be for, you know, for my safety. Oh shit, I nearly fell on the floor. Guys, watch out for things like that. It might just be because of um, safety issues in general, or it might just be for my own safety as well, because maybe there are certain people around and they are just watching out for me as a tourist. So if you go to certain countries, for example, um, what they'll tell you is you need to be careful holding your camera because there are certain people that target tourists. Um, but I'm not sure if that's the reason why he said that. I think he's only said that because he was just worried why I'm recording around the river now. Um, I don't know, maybe he thinks I'm trying to plan something, um, which clearly I'm not trying to do. So, um, in this particular video, um, the aim was to obviously um, show my subscribers and my viewers um, the river now area where my hotel was. So um, the next um, part of this video would show you um, a market I found. It was so funny because um, when you walk around my hotel area, you wouldn't realize that there are some markets um, 
in certain parts. And also you see a lot of like little kids like harassing you for money. Um, you, you need to be careful when it comes to like giving people money though because you, you can't give everyone money. So sometimes you have to be quite smart about it. But yeah, um, I'm going to move on to the next part in a minute um, where I'll show you um, the little market I found. As I was walking through River Nile, I found um, a little road and I thought, let me explore and find out what's happening there. Um, because sometimes you never know what you could find. This is from experience anyway, because when I go to various countries, I try to investigate all the side roads. <laughs> because when you do, you tend to find places um, that you would never thought you would find. So in this particular area, I did find um, a market and they, they were selling various items actually. Um, even things I thought they wouldn't sell, they were selling. And they had some interesting characters, I must say. Um, there was a guy there that said he's from Liverpool. <laughs> so I called him Liverpool. So I implore you to um, always you know, find out what you can find in every single alleyway or road. Obviously, be um, be careful though. I'm not saying go to some dangerous part of um, a particular country and start exploring. But if you feel it's safe, explore. Okie dokie, let's see what I got up to in this particular area. In, in Cairo, um, they've got a lot of good stuff around the area. So what do you sell? Furniture. Furniture? <coughs> so what do you what do you have? Furniture? Yeah. Yeah, good, good. Okay, um, so I think they sell furniture in that place. Um sometimes they don't understand what you're saying because they speak Arabic anyway. So um I try not to waste a lot of time talking to them. <laughs> For those that don't understand me anyway, because um it's just a waste of time. Um, okay, so this is literally an area where they have a lot of locals. Um, so it's um, it's obviously not too busy. So I'm able to navigate the area even better. Um, so what happened um, earlier is a lot of people were stopping their cars, asking me if I have a driver. Because what they tend to do is um, they drive you around Cairo and show you touristy areas, yeah? And aside from that, they still try to ask you to do certain things you don't want to do. So I'll give you an example. So you might see a driver that stops his car and he tells you, do you need a driver? Hi, you okay? Yes. Hello. How are you doing? What do you want? Everything. Uh, uh, what nationality? Um, British. Uh, British, yes. Well, uh, Africa? Sorry? And British, yeah. Uh, WT, country. Uh, oh, UK, UK. UK, yeah. Uh, Bridge. What? Bridge, uh, England. England, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's very good. Yeah. What do you, what you used? YouTube, YouTube. YouTube, wow. Yeah, YouTube. I want, uh, I wish you uh, travel uh, UK. Yeah. Because married in UK. Oh, you want to get married in the UK? Ah, yeah. So, all you beautiful women, if you want to marry him, what's your name? Out of Cromer. Okay, if you want to marry him, ah, come to Cario, and that's your shop, yeah? Uh, ask Yusuf. Yeah, so ask for Yusuf, yeah? Ah. Then you'd see him, ah. and um, you can obviously marry him, and he can move to the UK. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice talking to you, yeah? <laughs> Take care, guys. Yeah, so, um, so what they'll do, sorry, because I got um, interjected there. So what they'll do is, they'll ask you if you need a driver. Once you say, yes, I need a driver, then they would obviously um, book a date to take you around but they'll be asking you when they pick you so let's say they pick you up today they'll be asking you once they've picked you up on whether you want to do other things because the picking you up from the hotel is not just to drive you around it's actually to make you buy more things and do more things so they can make more money out of you so just be very careful of that anyway so they try as much as possible to make a lot of money out of you 
because the initial contact is just to engage you literally all oh my days that's why i like exploring so i found this back end where i saw a lot of locals and now it looks like they have a lot of things going on so there's a lot of things going on in the whole area um i think it's literally like a mini market basically so I've, I've seen a security agent already looking at me yeah so he might tell me off i don't know um but let's see what happens anyway so they do have a lot of things going on they have um furniture they have hi you okay are you are you from egypt are you from egypt yeah assalamu alaikum good 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 so what do you do are you working yes yeah you're working yeah yes. good 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 boy good boy yeah hi yeah hi so um they seem very friendly around the area but you still have to be really careful yeah hi so is this your shop okay okay yeah very nice uh, curtain is this curtain uh, egyptian curtain my target my best. no no is it egyptian this china, china oh chinese okay china. so is it cheap yeah. cheap yeah <laughs> he's saying is he telling you not to say that he's telling you no 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 it's not china it's not chinese it's egyptian <laughs> he's telling you no it's no it's not chinese this is not chinese this is not yeah, no, nah, it's Egyptian, isn't it? Listen, when you see tourists, yeah, don't say it's Chinese. If you say Chinese, they would not buy. Tell them Egyptian, Egyptian, and they'll buy. Yeah? Okay, take care, guys, yeah? Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu yeah. Take care, yeah. Yeah. So, the guys are very friendly. Um, but I, I saw a security agent at the back. He kept staring at me, so I hope he doesn't come my way. Um, because he was about to walk towards me, then he just laid back for some reason he stayed back sorry um but yeah so that guy was really funny so i think he was telling somebody who understands english to talk to me and i asked him is your curtain because they are selling curtains and i said oh is he from egypt and he said no he's chinese and the guy was trying to tell him why are you telling him he's chinese <laughs> yeah that was really interesting actually um you get that a lot in these countries though people trying to sell you things that are not actually from that place um so sometimes they might be selling chinese products but they would claim that um it is egyptian obviously they are only doing it to make money but um it's quite interesting that people fall for that as well because sometimes you can actually tell from the texture that it is not Egyptian quality because Egyptian cotton is known for um, for being very good um, but obviously some people might not know that which is understandable um, I kept on exploring the market and I met some very very friendly people um, see what I saw when I got to a particular part where I met some friendly people selling very interesting things. Trees like this. Hi, assalamu alaikum. Hi, welcome. Yeah, thanks. Morning. So when I, uh, morning. So <laughs> assalamu alaikum. Mina, Mina, Mina. Yeah, nice. Mina, Mina Fekri. Yeah, Fekri. Mina Fekri. Mina Fekri. Mina Mohamed. My name is Badawi. 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 His name is Badawi. Badawi. I like your names. You have good names. Thank you. 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 So when I come to countries like this, yeah, what I do is I tell my subscribers to come to your shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you have a business card so I can put it in my channel mm -hmm. so people can come here? I scared the dealer. You have a business card. I I go. I go. Yeah. I give the card. The dealer card. Sheikh, I scared. Okay, he doesn't have one. Does he have? No, a I don't. I don't. No, you don't have don't one. Care. But anyways, guys, yeah. So when you come, when you come around, come to this shop. Um, and come to this area. There are lovely people around. Um, what's your name? Um, Adsway. 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 Yeah, Adsway. Yeah. Walk the nose. Walk the nose. Yes. Walk the nose. Walk the nose. Muzayit. Liverpool. Muzayit. Muzayit. Are you from Liverpool? Muzayit. Liverpool. Are you from Liverpool? It's like Liverpool. Muzayit. Oh. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ah, look, 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 look. Oh. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, I love these guys. I love them. I love them. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Buzai. Musala. Musai. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, what you can do? So he's from Liverpool. Yeah. Liverpool. He's from Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. So he's, he's British, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the wrong country? Um, Where are you from? Nigeria. My, my Nigeria. parents are from Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, 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 yeah. China. China. Oh, come on. You're not Chinese. You're not Chinese. Yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, yeah. My family are from Lagos. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, I love all of them. They are very friendly. It's Ramadan, but they are very happy. Yeah, they are very happy people. Um, so guys, come here when next you come to Cairo. Okay, guys, take care. Take care, yeah? Take care, take care, guys. No, I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, take care. <laughs> so they are really friendly. I've got to move on. Um, unless I wouldn't be able to do what I need to do. Um, yeah, they are very, very friendly, actually. Um, it's so funny how... Initially, I was thinking I'm going to get a lot of challenges whilst recording. Um, however, a lot of people are very engaging and very nice. Um, hi. hi. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, so um, they're very friendly. So I'm sure you must have heard me saying Assalamu alaikum. So that's literally um, saying hello, basically. And what they say in response to that, or in response, I mean, to that is um, Walaikum Salam. So that's what they tend to say. Um, so it's something you need to learn. And also, I think thank you means shukram, I think, if I'm correct. Um, hope I'm not making that up, but I think that's correct, actually. Um, so I'm teaching you some few bits. Um, <laughs> so this is like a market I never thought I would see. Um, that's why I love vlogging. Literally, you find things you, you don't expect to see. Um, if you decide to freestyle, that's why I tend to freestyle. I never, ever plan. Um, planning is just for for those that want to be too professional um, but I enjoy vlogging so I don't actually plan at all okay so you can see how the market is set up in the area um, in North Africa they tend to have um, markets like this um, so you can walk in a certain area and you see like an alleyway and you see like a market around the area so that's just how it is in North Africa um, I think it might be similar in some countries in um, West Africa as well, um, they might have various alleyways where, where, you, where, when you go inside of it, sorry, then you find um, an actual market. Um, but hi, you okay? Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. So, um, so they are very, very friendly. Oh, this is another place where they sell. Um, I think these are like engine parts and that. Okay, so they sell like car engine. That's like a shock absorber. That's like for your suspension and that. Hi, assalamu alaikum. Yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed um, this particular part of the video. The next place I'm going to show you is Khan El Khalili Market. Um, the experience I had there was quite good. So let's move on and see what happened when I got there. Okay, guys, Khan El Khalili Market. I would say one of the busiest, craziest, most interesting markets ever. And um, this part of the market I'm going to show you was not even that bad. It wasn't bad at all because when I went deep into the market and came out from the other side, I was like, damn, this market is busy because the other part of the market was so busy, I could hardly move anywhere. And unfortunately, that was the bit where I had to wait for um, my Uber to come and pick me up from. I actually had issues um, getting into my Uber because the Uber had to park somewhere far away because there was just no place for for the Uber to park where I was. Um, but yeah, it was it was a very interesting place. I think I need to go to Cairo again. I, I think there's a lot more to see. Okay, um, enjoy this part of the video. Amazing people and amazing food. Let's explore the streets of Cairo and let's see what it has to offer. Okay, so it's a Monday afternoon in Cairo and there's a lot going on. There are literally people driving towards me, acting like they're about to hit me. 
there are people wondering what I'm doing around. I'm afraid that the police would arrest me as well because they keep staring at me thinking, what the hell is it recording? So let's see if I'm able to do a recording today um, because there's a lot of security agents trying to stop people from recording and I'm just hoping I don't get stopped. Okay, so like I said earlier, Cairo is a very interesting place. Um, there's a lot of good food. I've tried a lot of food since I came here and I'm looking to try more. Um, there's a very, very popular bazaar around this area and I'm just hoping that I find it whilst I'm exploring. Um, it's been a very difficult day for me actually because um, I've had a number of issues um, recording in certain places um, not because of um, the people per se it's more of um, the security around the area um, also there are a lot of people that, that would like to appear on camera as well but I try my best to avoid that um, because obviously I've got to keep recording and I have to keep moving on um, okay, so what can you do um, in Cairo when you come over? Um, there's a lot for you to do. So where, where I am now is called, um, I think it's called Khan El Khalili. I think that's what it's called. And Khan El Khalili is known for having amazing bazaars. So um, there's one particular bazaar that is full of tourists and there's one that is used by the local people. Um, although there's one particular um, bazaar for tourists and there's one for the locals, um, they still charge tourists the prices if they realize you're a tourist. Um, so I'll give you an example. So today, um, I went to a place and um, the guy was asking me for what I need. Um, and I tried to act like I'm from Egypt. And he said, no, I know you're not from this country. I could tell you're from England. So these people are very, very smart and they're very savvy. So no matter how you try to hide it, um, they would know. But I suppose um, you have to take advantage of what you see. So sometimes you might, or what you have actually, sometimes you might find people that are willing to help. I would say take that opportunity and let them help you out because they might turn out to be very useful. Um, so just be very careful though when it's time to give them a tip for helping out because um, sometimes they might ask you for UK pounds and not Egyptian pounds. Another thing you need to watch out for as well is on the road or um, when you're walking on the road in Egypt, um, just be very careful because there are some places that are quite um, are quite dangerous so you have to watch out um on the i mean look at the floor whilst you're walking um i've had two incidents today where i tripped so you just have to be very careful um obviously the roads are not as good as western europe but it is still okay it's still it's still all right actually it's not as bad as um as i thought it might be also it's very very um difficult difficult to walk around um, it's a bit like Marrakesh actually. There's a lot of people walking on um, on the side of the road like this, and there are a lot of um, there are a lot of motorbikes as well on the side. So you can see people are walking literally on the side because it's so difficult to walk on the road. Yeah, it was really really difficult um, to walk on the road. It was really busy. I suppose um, Cairo is a busy place anyway because it's the capital city. That tends to happen in all capital cities you go to. There's always a heavy, you know, a heavy route of traffic in most places. So I suppose um, that's why there, um, there is a lot of traffic there. I kept on walking because um, I was looking for the market, El Khan El Khalili. That's what it's called, um, Khan El Khalili. I kept on walking to look for it um, and on my way to Khan El Khalili I met some friendly people. The period is around May, June, July, around that time. Um, it's really busy and it's really packed. So if you're the sort of person that likes to hide, if you are, <laughs> the locals are lovely, like everyone is saying hello. Um, if you're the sort of person that doesn't like uh, too many people around, 
and you like to have your own space and you like to have um, your own privacy um, then I suggest you come off season um, but that doesn't stop the hustlers from hustling you though <laughs> that's still gonna happen so let me just talk you through my experience in the pyramid anyway so um, when I got to the pyramid yesterday there were so many people trying to like sell services so um, I would say what you need to do is just be very high you okay <laughs> just be very mindful um, on what services you take because some of them you know they don't understand what you actually need and there's a language barrier as well so some people might not really understand what you're after and I might uh, sorry and they might end up selling you something you don't actually need so you just have to be very very careful okay so this is the bazaar area and it looks like it's well well built um, it looks really nice so you see a lot of cars around I'll take you to the other bazaar I saw earlier so there's another bazaar I saw that is really really busy but I think this particular one um, is like touristy anyway so it's got a few shops and a few things but I don't think this is the main main bazaar um, I'll take you to the crazy busy one later in a minute sorry guys okay um, so the locals are friendly as well so if you ever get stuck always free always feel free to ask the locals as well they, they're always there to help um but there might be um a fee <laughs> associated with that help um so yeah i think i'm around the tourist um bazaar area um i'm just hoping that i don't get um harassed by the security agents because there are certain people that don't like you recorded <laughs> so i just hope i don't get harassed by the security agents i'm not recording you <laughs> yeah so um so i think this is literally like the um the touristy area um so let's just keep walking anyway so the weather is getting slightly better so it was really really it was really really cold um before i mean really hot i said cold it was really really hot before but the weather has come down a bit so this is actually the best time to um to explore so i would say if you want to explore the bazaar um come around 4 pm and i think you'd be able to explore a bit more um because there's <laughs> There's a lot to see actually around that time and also because it's Ramadan um, a lot of people are preparing to obviously break because um, I think it breaks in the evening or so after sunset I think so this is the um, I think this is the main building to the tourist the bazaar I think it is um, but I'm not going to go there the security agents are already looking at me so I'm going to focus on that road and just keep going um, so I don't get harassed at all um, okay so that part is literally the part that you have um, a lot of the local bazaars it seems like all the tourists are on this side um, can you see it's gated um, so let me just keep walking um i do advise you to have sunscreen on when you come over um because it's really like it could get really really hot um the good thing about egypt compared to most places i've been to that is really warm is um there's a lot of fresh air there's a lot of breeze and um, i actually like that because you go to some countries and it's really really hot and there's no breeze at all so obviously you struggle to um to cope but the good thing about this area is, um, I mean, about Egypt is, there's a lot of breeze. So you actually feel very comfortable walking around. And I like that. So I would say, get your sunscreen, get your shorts ready. Always wear shorts. Um, I'm wearing shorts at the moment. Um, and obviously explore. Um, so yesterday when I was exploring the pyramid anyway, um, they did show me um, the Sahara Desert because it's all linked and um, I think you can actually pay a fee 
to explore the Sahara. So it's literally up to you anyway. So what would happen is when you pay for the pyramid, for example, um, to explore the pyramid, sorry, um, you would see them asking you if you want to do more. So that's very normal in, um, that's very normal in Egypt anyway. They would always try to sell you more things than you need. And everyone is literally selling to you. Every Dick and Harry, literally. Okay. Everyone, drink. sorry? Drink orange, mango, strawberry. I'm okay, I've drank already. Okay, I will come and change a dollar anytime. One dollar, 32, over here. Okay, good deal, yeah? Okay, so what's the name of your shop? Let me tell my subscribers to come to you. Okay. So what's the name? What's the name? Is that you? This is Isam and Hussein. Juice. Okay, juice, yeah? Yes. So you do? Um, mango, strawberry, joab, sugar cane, turmeric, coconut, Good. Espresso, coffee, yes, <laughs> anything, drink, come back your guys. <laughs> and you do currency exchange okay. as well, yeah? Yes. Yeah, good, good man, yeah? Friend. Take Bye. care, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, they're quite friendly. But everyone is literally like a businessman, like, it's literally like India, like when you go to India, everyone is literally selling. Okay, I think there's a bazaar around this area. Hey, you okay? Are you from Egypt? I live, are yeah. you from Egypt? Yeah. So what part? Are you from Cairo? Yeah. Cool. So what are you doing here today? What are you doing today? Uh, eat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what are you eating today? Uh, beef. Beef. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, chicken. Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> So do you go to school? So have you got have you got YouTube? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, do you want to subscribe to my channel? Yes. Yeah, cool. Are you? I don't want you. No, no, don't grab it. Don't grab it. Yeah. So are those are those your friends? Are you home alone? Yeah. So I'll type it in. Subscribe, guys. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. No, no, I'll type. Um, no, I'll type one of my videos. I just want to say that. Hold on. انت هتمندش الفيديو ده كتير قوي على فكره اه كده يا كام كام ده ولا ده بيسافر so um, a lot of the locals are nice. Um, so this is literally, I think it's the bazaar area and they also have restaurants where you can eat as well. Um, so I think they are setting it up for the evening. Um, <laughs> I can imagine how busy it's gonna get in the evening. Um, it's well set. Okay guys, so I'm still walking around the bazaar area um it's crazy busy so this area literally reminds me hi you okay hello assalamu alaikum assalamu rahmatullah wa barakatuh oh lovely lovely i like yeah, that i like thank that you. so what do you sell in your shop yeah i uh here inside uh, like uh, like hibiscus like this hibiscus like sweet cool. uh, pistachios like uh special hi assalamu alaikum saffron i have yeah. real saffron from aswan yeah so you sell yeah. like spices and herbs literally yeah, and they have like this for, uh, and shisha, for shisha. Shisha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I've got a shisha pipe in that's England. That's very good for health. That's very, uh, <laughs> very, very bad. Very bad. Yeah. <laughs> you die, you stay alive. Yeah. Healthy, bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. inside. The, cool. That's what... Nice to meet you guys. Thank yeah. You. I'm Thank just you exploring much. the bazaar. You're welcome yeah. anytime. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Take care, guys. Yeah. Bye. Thanks. Yeah. So. They're... Okay. For those that are into things like shisha, you can buy a lot of shisha flavor in. Um, in the market and also there's a lot of like um fruits that you can buy as well so feel free to buy that in the market um in terms of the products they sell in the markets in egypt is quite diverse anyway so there'll be a lot of things you can buy so feel free to check out anything you're thinking about and you might just find it there um okay so i'm not going to go deep into the market anyway 
I suppose it was just to give you a taster of how it went en route to the main market. So, um, I'm going to have to end it here. If you want to watch the full video of Can El Khalili Market, um, please go to my channel and um, go to the Egypt playlist and you would see Can El Khalili Market there. The full video is there for you to watch. Um, thank you guys for watching this episode. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please like my videos and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care guys.